help. Whoa, 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 whoa. Companions. And we can we can ah. show that we're relevant <clears throat> by by continuing that that conversation. What does AG mean when they put it in the comments? <laughs> Again, maybe. Angel. Angel. One of, uh, is it AG AG AG? Maybe it's a god. AG. Just AG, because apparently AG AG AG, but this is from 2008, so that would be okay. quite. Yeah, ancient. it's probably changed since then. Right, yeah. but AG 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 is that fake laugh that people make, like ah ah ah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, but so, uh, well, what I looked up was it's a the word short for aggressive, but not necessarily always a negative term. Yeah, like like they're really aggressive at getting that thing done, and it's and, and it's a positive. Um, like focused, high intensity. I want to get this, you know, that makes do sense. this, get that. Yeah. I could go there. Deanne is asking but, what country did it come from? What country was typing it? I, I don't know. It was a, some <laughs> person on YouTube commenting on a YouTube video my, oh. my boy put up. Never ever, what did it say? Never ever AG. No, nobody ever, nobody ever AG. I'm like, okay. Nobody ever AG. Breeze, maybe. Oh, no, that's interesting. The breeze? I don't know. Did anybody give us so some? My boy's been, he, he put up this video the first time as a non, non-kid video because he's been doing all of his videos uh, for kids. Hmm. And so, yeah, if you want to see what kind of comments you get from people because they don't for kid videos that um at that designation no comments are allowed so he wanted to see what kind of feedback you get from other viewers and so he put this one it's just a short one he was doing he actually he's been playing with other languages so he did a little bit with a german minifigure and speaking in german just like 30 seconds or i mean like, like a 15 second video and so so that was the first comment that popped up. It's like, okay, I'm not sure what you mean by that, but there's not much what? to get aggravated about. Or they said never about. what? Nobody ever AG. And his and his and his video was in, in what kind? What what was it? It was a was it a Minecraft video? It was a. It's a Lego mini uh, stop motion. Stop. A little German soldier walked in and it says basically in, in German it says, "My name is Hans. I'm 18 years old." Boom. I mean that's it. Yeah, and he's got a brief little blurb saying, "Been trying my German language out, and just kind of being yeah. vulnerable, you know, yeah. in his experience yeah. of how to do stop motion." So that was a, that was a comment, <laughs> and um, I wonder if it's a a stop motion. Nobody I've been checked. really impressed with some of the stop motion uh, videos that people have been putting out on YouTube. Oh yeah, it's. And Facebook. I mean, it is wow. There, it's a lot of work. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Some of it's incredible. Anything goes. That might be anything goes. I don't know. I, it's a stop motion term. Is it ag stop motion? How to? I've seen a. I've seen a lot of ag stop motions again. Good morning, Jackie. Good morning, Pamela. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Dude, figure, figuring out people's slang is like uh it's like it's like modern anthropology, you know. <laughs> you guys don't know what they're talking about. Gotta get somebody with Let's... a PhD in, involved so that we can read current right. comments because you know. If they made a comment well, yesterday, that might as well be a thousand years ago. <laughs> this is this is good conversation because you know people can get really bent out of shape by comments, and if you don't, yeah. you know, I mean, if someone throws a, an acronym like that out, and you're like, oh, you think it's this, and they meant this, it's like this whole thing gets spun up and the miscommunication. So I mean, what, one of the the sites I looked at said it's ambiguous, so it could mean anything, even though this is often what it means. So it could mean yeah. something else. So best bet is just to ask the person for more clarification. I'm like, that's a common sense thing. I don't know if anybody can pull that one off, but common sense yeah. is lacking these days. <laughs> yeah, we're like we're taking uh, you know a misspelling to the Urban Dictionary, going, what does that mean? <laughs> okay, it meant that I, I I hit the wrong key. 
yeah. and, post <laughs> and left. And I didn't realize I started a whole movement, you know. Hey, like, exactly. Suddenly sure? there's AG oh. on shirts. Yeah. Let's get an AG tattoo. <laughs> and the guy's like, oh, shoot. Yeah. I didn't well, in the church I even world, know. It means totally something different for us that <laughs> are part of the AG. AG movement <laughs> <Similar to> God, <laughs> yeah. so, it, it could go all kinds of ways <laughs> the aog drop the yeah. AOG. <laughs> oh yes 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 oh man this is <laughs> oh, communication is the thing that causes all problems between yeah. people i know starts wars yeah, that's um, where I don't know who said it, but I'll give um, in the ether credit due to where I heard it was I thought it was great as communication and plus unity is community. I'm like, man, that's really good. So as we're framing up our language, all of us through <laughs> communicating with each other above the sun, all we're all companions, right? Yeah. We're like minded. So that's community. And that's yeah. that's that's us that's some secret sauce right there. That's a key. When I tell my wife this with the boys, I say, you know, I'm with you. We're on the same page. I might not be we're on the same team. I not understand you right now. Yes. But because of my loyalty to the relationship, I'm gonna stick with you until we get this miscommunication solved. You know, you know about that to qu ask the question several times. I'm gonna I'm for you, but just be for me and give me grace until I can understand what you're saying. And sometimes the conversation gets heated, but I'm like, I'm not going to leave the room until we get this resolved. Cause it's, it's not an issue of my heart being against you. It's my desire to know you better and understand your heart. And sometimes sure. it takes more energy because English sucks. Mm -hmm. Human language sucks mm -hmm. to, to communicate the heart. Yes, so it you does. You need to have the long suffering with your relationships in order to build a better, more perfect connection and and work through the awkward disambiguity of what language does in relationship. Push through it until you come to the same page. If you're loyal to that, then you really won't uh, fail at building healthy relationships. I mean, it takes both people on that side of the coin to do it, say yes. But if they both stick around and push through the, the misunderstanding and understand that they're for each other, doesn't matter what miscommunication is going on, you're going to get through it and be stronger at the other end of it. And I think that's part of the issue is people are not willing to be loyal to relationships enough to work through the awkwardness of miscommunication and to get over their junk, you know, and the triggers. Um and, and that's that's why I tell my boy, this is why I'm here for you. I may not understand you right now, but I'm going to stay until I do. Because <laughs> I'm for you. Yeah, it was funny this week. So I had written something on the board in the classroom. And uh, at the end of it, it was basically just, this is what we're going to do, three or four things for my group. And they save it because my part of the board. But I have other classrooms that classes that come in there throughout the day. And so two of the teachers, um, group group leaders, they came in and was reading my board. And so I had on the bottom of it, enjoy. But I had it I in, it's how I spell it, I in capital J O Y. So I come in and they're like looking at me like they were going to erase it because it was spelt wrong. And I was like, please don't, because that is, you know, my wife said that's actually the correct spelling. Enjoy. It's because us English have made it that way. It's a French word. Encourage and encourage, enjoy, all the in- it is actually it, it's either in the number or the letter in and joy or I in and joy. And so it was I had to explain. I'm like, this is who this is my kind of call sign, you know, when I text and when I, you know, so please don't erase it because it's it's 
part of my life, you know, part of what I'm doing. So, but I mean, they're, you know, they've got all these kids that come in and go, why is the spelling? Why did Mr. P spell this wrong? And so, um, but they were like, it tweaked them a little bit because they're teachers, you know, trying to do it right. And um, like, well, this is how it is, man. And uh, so it was really cool. And then I got to explain that to other other folks. I'm like, this is, you know, it is about the joy inside of you. That's the whole point. The joy in you is to be released. And that's, you know, yeah. I told them that, you know, I'm Joy Jedi. And so, you know, that's part of the whole process of the enjoy and whatever. And then, oh, that's cool. But yeah. Yeah. Like, the power that's of cool. Nice saw. Nice little inroad to share more of who you are outside of the role and function of a teacher. I know. In a school settings. Yeah. yeah. Love yeah. that. Yeah. Because they're in the context of doing it right. Yes. Yeah. You get to see what my right is and then what your right is. And they may be at right angles to each other. <laughs> but but we can we can talk about it and learn. Oh, well, don't explain, you build houses with right angles? My, yeah, this is more my signature, my call sign or whatever. It made more sense because it wasn't like I was taking enjoy, you know, that. But this is, you know, what I've, you know, the way I see and hear things and be able to put it down and, you know, almost make it easier, you know, for these kids to understand. Why does it end? And totally. Start, you know? So yeah, it was kind you of. You should do some more of those because you got a lot of those. I do have a lot of them. You should just make that a habit every day to throw another word that's spelled incorrectly on the board and and have that quick little five ten minute dialogue about. And get yeah. them thinking outside the box because the the schools were about putting them in the box. Yeah. And putting them in form right and thinking this way, um, yeah. and not really allowing them to be creative enough outside of the structure yeah um so yeah i could do that i think i i might have shared about uh 1432 1432 um i can't remember i did a facetime because of dreams i think it was my last post on on ats it was like mm -hmm. man the way the father speaks to us in dreams you know with for me, it was just really cool. It was just like, I got at the end of my dream, woke up 1432. I don't know if I was seeing it. I must have saw it and kind of heard it at the same time. And so it just was like, you know, got my curiosity. I was thinking it was a date. And um, I mean, there's some key things happening in 1432 and stuff like that. But when I Googled it, um, it actually means, and I don't know how I didn't go into all the details. It's code for, I love you too, in texting terms. And 432 is, uh, means I love you. And so it was so cool that that was like the end of my dream. You know, my wife and I at the, you know, before I came on here, she left for work and, you know, I love you. I love you too. And it was that same type of, you know, it's the same type of deal we were, you know, I was waking up and just kind of the father was just saying, I love you too. And that was just really cool. But if you weren't paying attention, it's, yeah. just, it's just some numbers that random numbers that, that just uh, kind of floated in the atmosphere. And I happened to, my antenna was up and caught it, but you know, he, I mean, I've learned that that's, that's language, you know? So I thought it mm -hmm. was so cool. And who's ever said like I love you too yeah. before you hang up the phone with somebody yeah. who isn't your spouse, right? So it becomes part of our I don't know, like just noise. Like it's it's part of the noise we make. And so right. the, the 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 uh, the number uh, that's fascinating. The one four three two. It's supposed to be the number the number of letters in the words. I love you, but two has three letters. Right. So it, it, it doesn't even line up with its own structure. Yeah. It's, it's totally dependent on humans relating to each other yeah. to make sense of it. 
because it doesn't it doesn't follow any rules completely you know so done right the done right crowd is going to have a problem with it regardless <laughs> <laughs> but it but it means something and those those things fascinate me that the, the how language develops to communicate something that language is not built to communicate at all and then it, it established a culture right because that's the over time that two-way communication becomes a community understanding a yep. shared understanding that becomes then written into the culture and language not just the language but the culture so when you walk into a new culture like and they're using this language you understand their their words but you don't understand their language and you're you're missing it left and right because i don't get these people you're using the same language i'm using but i don't not in the way i use it right and so there's this whole subterranean uh, understanding and and way of doing life that is wrapped up in that culture um that makes it even more difficult to understand the people group you know what's interesting What's interesting about that is when you when you were talking about culture, what it is, is what's interesting is how your language can um, distract or cover up who you really are or reveals who you are. So it's interesting. But at the end of the day, it's we have that's why living above the sun, communication and unity above the sun. You know, we we with that. It's that commonality, and that's what we're all after. Right? Is this common language? Well, how do you develop this common language by working on your character? Because your yeah. breath and the words that you use and the language that you choose will reveal your character. So, for people to use a language that cover up their character should cause to step back and go, okay, that's where discernment comes in. So that's what mm -hmm. go ahead, bro. That's what emojis are. We just, my wife mm -hmm. and I actually watched the uh, emoji. Uh, oh, uh, yes. Video. Um, oh, okay. movie. I love oh, it. Okay. Oh, okay. It's okay. Oh, it's great. Is it good? Is it good? Oh, it's uh, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. It's, I enjoy okay. It. Yeah. Okay. It's, I, but it's I, a black real you. And he, right the main on. character, he was supposed to be a, eh, um, uh, eh, yeah. a uh, but every time he just didn't feel, nah, he felt, nah. he changed. He was everything. Yeah. <laughs> and they had put him in the box of being a, man, nah. and come to find out, and don't want to spoil it too much. Well, his mom was a, man, nah, but his dad, was a man, but he was really everything his son was, and he was hiding it. Oh, he wanted to fit. And so, as the family, as it comes out, yeah, it's it's really, it's got such it's a, a good, good, good yeah. lesson. Yeah, and um, yeah, the funny what? thing is, it deals with yeah, the internet and how. You know, I mean, you go into these different platforms and you got you want all your likes and all your stuff, and you know, it's, 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 so, it's, an, it's such a good it's, job of yeah. it. The hand is such a cool the character, the hand, and and how he got he got uh, you know, the hand wasn't used anymore, so he, you know, the whole there's like a bunch of different storylines to it. It's really, it's good. really good, yeah. yeah. But we we emote all the time. Oh man, church was full of emoting. You know, we'd go to church. How you doing? I'm smiley all the time. <laughs> but, feeling, eh. but we don't want to okay. express that because this is the mm -hmm. way to do it. Not, I'm having a crappy week. You know, I think it depends heavily on the church. <laughs> God, we you know god is just woo, and that's true but do you really mean that or are you feeling or are you struggling with that right now you know woo. yeah yeah it's free on tubi right now yeah so if you go um yeah nice. it's free it's really it's really uh yeah and it's just a little over an hour 
hour long. It's That's a really a good, good one. Yeah. They do a right. good job. I mean, some of these movies that they're not Christian or, you know, but they don't have to be because it's, they're expressing who the father is. That creativeness of who father is in them is just exploding out. And it really, I mean, my gosh, I mean, obviously those movies speak to me because they bring joy to me and those joy it allows releases a lot in me i'm like man i have so much fun watching these movies <laughs> uh. yeah and then i think i think it also reveals why would you be why would you put a facade on in church yeah. because it's not safe man, exactly we put right. facades on because we're not secure in the environment we're at we don't trust the relationships we're in. We don't know. We don't have that connectivity. So I'm not going to put wear my heart, my sleeve just for everybody. Yeah. So if, if, if that's going on in, in a community where people should be tightly knit, then there's an issue, a breakdown in relationship. Right. And that means that maybe you need to rethink the, the, the safety net, the safety place. That's the culture. It became yeah. a culture. Yeah, you know, that's what you're yeah, talking You keep it, you know, that's... is There are families like that, right? The, the truth of the matter is there are families that they all wear facades from one another. And you can see it until something bubbles up and then there's this big old blowout session. Exactly. And you realize you guys have been holding back for so long. You know that yeah, you I think live, live everybody needs exercise. a place. Yeah. Everybody needs a place where they can feel safe to, and to emote whatever emotion. Um, the hard part is we as humans have a difficulty allowing people just to emote without because we don't know how to manage that stuff. We don't know how to feedback on that um, because we got our own junk. To be honest, right. When we deal with our junk and we are we start coming to that level of shalom, completeness and wholeness and our emotional healthiness, you know, we're able to, and then we're con confident in who we are, we're able to sit and listen to people just emote and whatever emotion that they have and be able to still be what we need to be for them in that moment. Not be so hung up by their emotions that we get out of whack that we can't hear the spirit for them in that moment, right? Um, and that's, I think that's part of the problem because a lot of people just don't know how to deal with people. They're just blowing off, flying off the handle in the moment without you know, flying off the handle itself. <laughs> yeah. What's interesting about that is, you know, if you think from below the sun that people, we want to be in pleasure and we want to get out of pain. Yeah. Ordinarily. So think about that spiritually and in your emotion, right? Mm -hmm. So if you desire pleasure over pain well you might want to have a seat because you're going to get some keys that you can unlock if you choose to yep. yeah right and um you choose pain. yeah Don't go ahead bro oh that is choose quite pain? oh yeah that's especially in teenage years when they do not know how to express themselves that what that's what cutting's all about Mm. Yeah. Cutting, they do that because the pain actually relieves the pressure. Mm. So they continually right. hurt themselves and they, they're sabotaging, really. Um, they're but it takes them into a place. People, there are people that love pain. That that is their sure. that's their spot. And it's a displacement. Yeah, it displaces the pain receptors of emotions with a physical receptor. I mean, they even in like in some of the special needs situations, um, you know, they'll use if a kid is freaking out, they'll use something that removes or displaces that emotion. Like I've heard stories where they'll use like just some sort of stimuli that's a little more pressure to over overwhelm it, like a hairbrush, just slapping a hairbrush in the palm brings the, the, that child down in calmness so that his emotional pain is and, and disturbances is, is diminished by a distraction. So that, I mean, that totally makes sense. Having a physical stimuli 
to overwhelm the emotional stimuli so you don't feel that anymore. Athletes is a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Like that song hurt. I cut myself today to know that I still feel. Yeah. I mean Johnny Cash did it, but it's a cover, but Yep. Yeah. It's a, it's important. It's important for people to have an outlet, a healthy outlet to to do that. And the church is supposed to be that, man. But the church is full of people that can't do it themselves. Mm-hmm. So they struggle with being that for the world that is like crying for it. And then they're so Literally. used to being feeling the pain that that's their norm. So when somebody comes along yeah. that's happy and joy and and maybe wanting to help them, you know, it's really hard for them to understand, just like it's really hard for us to understand if you're, you know, so there's, that's why there's got to be um, relational trust right. where you can begin to break down both of those, you know, I can have empathy for you instead of you're just in a pissy mood all the time. And I don't like that. Right. Why are you in that mood? And how can I help you somehow uh, right. find a, a safer spot so you're not hurting yourself all the time? That, you know, that's, yeah. Physically, you know, themselves or medically. Yeah. So th- that's really important, bro. That's really good. But I think that, okay, so who's the voice as I'm cutting myself? Who is the voice that's speaking to me that's giving me that advice? Do I have relationship with that person? Is it somebody right. that... I don't because if that's not going to carry any weight, number one, number two, if it's somebody I have relationship with, but they've got issues and they're not Mm -hmm. very mature spiritually, that's another dynamic. That's why it's important for all of us to model what it looks and sounds like because the church hasn't been exposed because it's all immature. From the top of the house, through the house, down to the bottom of the house, whatever that looks like. So when is somebody going to step up and demonstrate what spiritual maturity looks like and sounds like on a consistent basis? And we're all waiting for individuals to come along. So, oh, that's what it looks like instead of going digging your own well, getting your own revelation and you becoming the, the, the city that's set on a hill. Yeah. Hello, oh, yes. get off the cross. We need the wood. Most We'd kids, like you're overcoming stories over and over and over again. Not yeah. that you're having a day and we all got junk and deal with, but you know what? Yeah. Overcome, stand, be a stander in the administration in our father's house and take our quantum entanglements and engagements and overcome and express the stories of how we're overcoming because it's not yeah. us. It's what's in us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But kids don't understand that normally. Yes, yeah, I, I that I agree, and I wouldn't. I don't know how to communicate that. You're right, totally. Yeah, especially with the dynamics of the families nowadays, yeah. they're not. You know, the parents aren't necessarily healthy, and so they're seeing that. So right. they're, you know, the kids are masking the pain because their parents don't know how, and so it's the revolving. Right, it's emotional adults. kids in adult suits. Yeah, we're trying to manage, you know, emotional kids and kid suits. And they're like, it's the blind leading the blind. I, I can't fix you because I can't fix you. years of trying to, you know, let me tell yeah. you, it's it's not easy. Especially when you don't yeah. have a community that that's, you know, you feel like you're in that you can trust. If you don't right. have that and try to do it by yourself. Uh-huh. You know, that's a miracle. I know. Comes and you figure it out by yourself. Man, that is like awesome. My oldest is going to be 40 and my youngest is 27. And I raised four of them. <laughs> Had my youngest when he was six months old, four of them. And it was flipping crazy. Mm-hmm. The 90s in my 30s was not a good decade for Boston C. <laughs> And listen, and I'll take responsibility and I've taken responsibility for everything I've created in my life because it's all good. It's good. You just own it and just don't get stuck in all the stuff where you're screwed up. Just get over your flipping self and get moving. Yeah. And so I've been, you know, but yeah. And so, um, 
Yeah. Yeah. It's hard it's to just... bootstrap emotions. Memo emotions, the right emotions are awesome. Think about pleasurable emotions. I love it. I just mean, I like, love... like, even now, I'm, I'm 47 and I keep waiting to grow up. Because I have this idea in my head that when you grow up, you've got it under control. And things make sense and things plateau, right? Like that's like, it's still there. It still tickles. It's ridiculous reasoning, uh, but I still find myself thinking right. that way. And then, and then like being understood, being heard, or just feeling like, what is it about connecting with someone and, 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 and they experience life a little bit like you do that does something. It unlocks something Understand you. and it's just like, okay, I don't, I don't feel like I'm by myself anymore. I have, I, I know I feel that, but I, I wonder, I think it's part of the human experience. Like you, that's why community groups are, are, are incredibly powerful yet. You don't even know the secret sauce that's pulling them together. It's just, these people have come together and said, you understand something that I didn't think anybody else did. I thought I was alone. I thought right. I experienced the world uniquely which isolated me in my own head. And then yeah. there's, this, there's this connection that says, I, I see a little of me in you, and that makes me feel not alone. Yeah. Well, isn't this, this is the thing I've been telling my boys, and you guys have heard me say it before. We're all children of the same house. We're all children. Yep. Some of us enter the world a little sooner than the others. <laughs> like my boys are my brothers, eternally my brothers. Which means that we both have the same father. And it, when I, for me, when I make that shift, they're my brothers. I've been walking the earth longer than they have. I, I perceive them and engage them differently. Like, bro, I've been, I, <laughs> this is the way I'm walking. I ain't doing it perfect. I'm doing it better today than I did 20 years ago. You can learn from me, but you're going to have to walk this route yourself. You're going to have to figure this out yourself. And I want you to know that I'm here with you. I'm going to walk it with you. I'm going to love on you. I'm going to show you the best way I know how to do, but I'm still learning some pathways. And the only way you're going to figure this out is by turning into the father, my father, your father, our father, and figuring out how to journey your spoke as yourself. But we're brothers and you just are just a few years behind, but in internal, internal purposes, we're in the same house. So yeah. There is no feeling of like, I got to get it all. When you have it in that, at least for myself, when you have it in that perspective, there isn't this sense like I got to do it perfectly because my kids depend upon, you know, th me doing it perfectly for them to have the right tools to be successful. If anything, that's more of a hindrance because if they see dad perfect, then they feel like it's unattainable because of their perspective of imperfection. And, and parents that kind of have that mindset struggle relationally with their kids, getting them into the next plateau and climbing the next hill and getting to the next plateau because they have to do it right and they're struggling internally. So they've got their own junk and that comes out because they can't keep that. And that emotion comes out and then their kids say, man, you're really a screw up. You've been trying to put on this facade of perfection all my life. And I realize you've been screwing up the whole time. Well, then I don't, I disown you. You're not a great model. You've, you've been lying to me for 20 plus years. So it actually hurts the relationship in the long term. If, a, if a parent reveals the fact that they're just a sovereign being walking the road to doing the best they can, kids can, can deal with, they're adaptive, they're, they're flexible. They, they can see that and say, I don't need you to be perfect. I need you to be loyal to me. I need you to love on me in your imperfection and we work through this together they they that's what the kids need they don't need a perfect model they need perfect loyalty in the relationship to be there to help them through their stuff knowing that they're the one that's helping them is dealing with their own junk and it gives them hope because they're seeing the parents succeed even in their imperfection oh i can do the same thing and then you add to that which is the the icing on the cake is that hey we got a father who is perfect we got a brother that is perfect and we can sit with them and help us up into a perfect state through their, their, their example. And I can, we can walk together and help each other in, in fam family connection. This, this makes it totally possible. And it, what seems impossible in the, in the, the, the blow the sun world that we live in. 
But that for me helped me just take a breather, you know, as a dad and say, I don't need to do this perfectly. I need to do my best. I need to do excellent. But I, I'm going to be vulnerable when I make a mistake. I'm, yeah, I'm going to show you. And we're going to have an outward conversation. Your mom and I are going to talk about our vulnerabilities and our issues in front of you. So you see how to communicate with one another, how to work through the imperfections of relationship and, and in personal development so that you have a way to do it yourself. You see how mom and dad are doing successfully. And then we give you the tools as older sister, brother, how to do it yourself. Yeah, Chris. So your uh, four boys are how, how old, bro? Youngest to old. So I got uh, from youngest to old. Where are we at here? Five, nine, 13, and 14. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, 13 and 14. Yeah, it'll be shortly 15. So, yeah, so about 10 years in that, that spectrum right there. Yeah, so what a what an opportunity which you've heard me say this to for for those boys to see the to get the modeling that they're getting in the way that they're getting okay my youngest is 27 and my oldest is going to be 40 and i mucked it up pretty good different dynamic the benefit of being a little older is through all of those life experiences and all of the overcoming. And I'll be 64 this year. So think of a football game of life, four quarters. Man, I got news for you. First of all, we're not dying. I'm staying. I mean, I am having the best life. It is like freaking amazing. Spiritually, emotionally. So for anybody that's out there that's like trying to overcome what's happened for most of their life, you're uh, everybody on this call. And yeah, Boston C is doing a little prophesying. Your best days are ahead if you want that. Yeah. If you want that, desire it, right? Write your story and then make that thing, whatever your story is, make that happen. And it will find you. It's not against you. Big love is for all of us, but right. I want to encourage that all of the brokenness and all of the junk and all of the stuff, the Lord was telling me today, he says, when you remember, when you go to bed at night, go to bed above the sun, when you get up in the morning and you start waking up and engaging, wake up above the sun and then come here below the sun and administer and work out your entanglements right. and your assignments. And you get to practice loving big while you're dealing with your stuff. And you yeah. and big love is not having a go at any of us. That's cool. But, but it requires us to make the choice and to just take, you know, and take on the responsibility of the things, you know, and that's, you know, where I say, you know, Lord, help me change my want tos. I want to do more of this and I want to do less of that. He'll even help yeah. you do that when you say, I can't get over this. Mm -hmm. I'm addicted to yeah. it. I like it too much. Okay. But I want you to help me with my want to. I don't want to be addicted to this thing. Man, flame on. What a great prayer. Yeah, that'll get the that'll get the universe energized for you. Mm -hmm. You know, right. so Keep yeah. yes on it, man. Yeah, Keep so yes it's um, so just you know, I want to again just encourage you guys to you know when uh, noodle you know forty seven, it's like dude, your freaking best days are ahead, man. It's <laughs> we're in the four beautiful man. <laughs> it's great. Fine wine. Oh, they're they're better than they they've ever been. Now I, I yeah. Give you that. It makes takes a little long to recover, you know, but that that's it. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, yeah. But what an honor just to see you. I'm so looking forward to getting to see your boys and 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 be, because of what you've done and sewed into them. What that what their what is on their scroll is just got to be flipping off the charts. And it you know, and I don't know if it's going to take another generation or two to get a bunch of dudes like that and ladies and just fill the earth. What 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 would that look like? 
You know, what's yeah, that going to Yeah. <laughs> and we're, and if you're going to stay around, we're going to, we're going to see it all, man. <laughs> yeah. Totally. <laughs> totally. Well, I just want to address something here. I know that I'm not going to put you on the um, spot, um, Janice. It's really nice that you're on. Um, Jeff and I, they are from um, <clears throat> Sandpoint. We're from. And um, she just says she turns 55 tomorrow. We're kind of keeping this in the lowdown, but it's all behind me. No hope for the future. And I just want to encourage you that hope never dies. Hope never dies. So the future we know is, is you know, we know who holds the future in his hands and we know who is in the father's hands. And so there's definitely um, a reason why you showed up today because it's really important that, that we encourage you, Janice. Um, you play such a vital part in, in, you know, what uh, the father has um in the now in right now and i uh truly see your timeline going for a long time girl and uh and your family and your kids and your grandkids because i know you have you have them and i know that you know he has a plan and a future for you and you know we all know that you know i have a you know a little i don't know if you can see this but i basically it says it's it's the whole jeremiah 29 11 for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper you not to harm you plans for a hope and a future and i got this the father showed me this about a year ago that this is like so he has there's three plans and we know what happens when three a cord of three is strength a cord of three so he not only has he only has plans, which is key, because <laughs> we feel like we don't have plans. Oh, my gosh, I don't have anything going on. I don't have a five-year plan. I don't have a year plan. I don't even have tomorrow's plan. Well, for one thing, he tells us not to worry about tomorrow, which that's a whole nother uh, way we can go. But he has plans to prosper you. To prosper you. Janice said, I, I am, he is prospering. You are a prosperous daughter. You are so amazing. He loves you. He loves you. He knows your heart. He sees inside of you. He knows, I, I know you, you have, um, I, I mean, you've adopted. So you know what adoption is all about. And you know the, the hard it's hard when you adopt kids and they don't, you know, I mean, you're dealing with traumas, you're dealing with all kinds of stuff, but there is hope in your father. He has given you the hope. And then there's such not to harm you, not to harm you, not to harm you, not to harm you. So I, I just, you know, I want to encourage you, Janice, um, Man, there's such a future for it. And you know what? Number 55 is such an amazing number. <laughs> 55 in the Hebrew is hey. Hey. Double hey. That's a double hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. And the crazy thing is, um, it's just such a good number, double fives. And you're coming into, I mean, this is such an amazing time. It also is uh, the number 10, which is a whole nother. What's number 10? Is that the Yod? That's the Yod. Yeah, the Yod is number That's 10. If you, yeah, it, there's such cool things happening this year for you. And I just want to declare that over you, that your timeline is 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 restored. And daddy is just, man, he's got you, girl. He's got your whole family. And what I want you to do is, and I know you've got back issues, um, but I just feel like 
you have this heavy backpack on and you've been carrying it for a lot of years and daddy wants to give you brand new brand new birthday present for tomorrow and he wants you to take this backpack off and he wants you to just give it to him i just feel like we we do this as teachers give me your backpack you know and there are good things in you know kids backpacks and there are things that that have been in there for a long time that stink you know I mean, if you've been carrying it for a long time, like these kids have the whole year, you know, there's, there's who knows what's at the bottom of the backpack, you know, and, and especially their lunch boxes and all this stuff. They haven't, there's a sandwich in there that's been there for a while. That's just starting. And, and you know what? The father is just going to take it. He's not going to take all everything out because there's so many amazing things. There's, it, it, you know what? Let's just plead the blood of Jesus. You say there's a witch who cursed you. Let's just declare who is more powerful, your father. Whose word? Whose word is more Whose powerful? word are you willing to believe right now? Because mm -hmm. the father has declared over you that he is giving you a hope and a future. And what did it say? Not to harm you, but to prosper you. And so as you... As we take this backpack, let's just put let's just put that what witch in there in the backpack. Something that we've been carrying around, those curse words. We've cursed our own body. I mean, you know, we we could really, you know, <laughs> do a number on our own self. And so let's just take it off. And we're just doing it as a family. As your family, we're all family. We're taking that off right now. And we are just, we're giving it to our creator. Because he created you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are highly favored. And so as a father, if one of my kids are being bullied, he is going to put the hand. And that, that those things are like, talk to the hand. Talk Let me to speak the, the hand. hand. Let me speak about the hand. Yes, go ahead, please. Because that's five times 11, 55. 11 is the cough, which is the hand of Yahweh, which is the overshadowing, the government, the resource, the supply, the name of our father over us. Mm -hmm. He covers us. Isaiah yeah. 11. He is our shelter. We not smide by the sun by day or the moon by night, but he covers us in his glory cloud. Is it just a figure of nice flowery speech? It's the reality of adoption. Yep. When you are adopted in his house, his government, his word, his name is put upon us. That means that the words outside of that, outside of that authority fall short. Curses can't alight upon us because his word supersedes. His government supersedes every other government, every other principle that's at play, whether it be witchcraft, which would be Kabbalism, which, which could be anything outside of our father's house that works that, that are works of iniquity they don't land on us if they do it's because our belief systems need to shift and align to a higher government if we submit ourselves to that government that's the issue but when we submit ourselves to the government of our father's name and his covering yep, yep. those things can't touch us we can walk in this earth untouchable because of the government the cough the hand of our father that covers us. That's the intention of what that, that was the idea of what Psalm 121 is about or what Psalm 91 is about. What David wrote these things because he understood you guys can't touch me. No word against me shall stand because I stand under his word. And it's a government to supersede any other government in the earth. Every word of iniquity falls short of its effect because I am impervious. And when I stand under the covering of my father's hand. So this year, we just declare 55 is a breakthrough year where you are standing. You will see the fullness and, the, and the, the coming of your father's hand and manifestation like never before as he shelters you and his government, not just covering you like a little sheep and protecting you. The covering is resource. 
The covering is authority. The covering is his name. It's the covering that Yeshiva walked in when he did signs and wonders and spoke with authority. The full backing and enforcement of that government is at hand, at hand, and it's currently over you now. This year is going to be a breakout. You're going to behold, five, five, double behold, 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 see the, the goodness of your father break through in your life this year as his government manifests and the providence of his hand is seen in your finances, in your family relationships, in in the land, in the prospering of gardens, the prospering of your house. You're going to see the fullness as you lean into that hand and allow his government in the name written upon your forehead to manifest. You're going to see a breakthrough. You're going to behold the breakthrough, double portion of that breakthrough, 55, 5, 5, and 11. We just, we see that now. I just, um, well, I'm seeing what I'm seeing. I'm saying what I'm seeing. And that's what I see the father doing. So I'm speaking that out, declaring that. I would add on to that, that um, <clears throat> the Lord says, try me. Come on. I love, I love, I love trying them. <laughs> so Janice, when you've got whatever your situation is, you've got 10, 15 things on it, like, a, like stuff. Okay. Blades full. So to show that the authority that you have and that big love is here on the scene right now through us, and we're all speaking life into you, but I'm about manifestation and somebody coming back that's in a situation that's got a lot of stuff going on that needs a breakthrough in the practical. Yeah. Right. So yeah. the prophetic is great. I love it, but I would encourage you to take the, what is the one thing that is needful now. Well, I need this. It's my physical body. It's this, it's that. You don't have to communicate it um, here. You can, or you can send an email or whatever. We will agree with you on that one thing to demonstrate that big love is involved in your life. Amen. And he will show you because if you don't have the faith, we have the faith to make up what you lack. And when you see something manifest, we do this all the time in community, right? I mean, you know, yeah. stories, just this is because we just, because when you, if it's a physical ailment, you are entitled as a daughter for relief, financial, whatever it is, but take that one yeah. thing that might not be the biggest thing, it's a big thing, but take just a little thing. Let us know what it is. We'll agree with you. And then what we do is we sit back and just wait and see, I wonder how long this is going to take before you come back and you say, you guys are not going to believe it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we'll believe it. We just imagine that. And then we want to hear the story, yeah. how it unfolded. And then, then you get encouraged and then you get on to the next thing. It's a step by step. So we want to believe with you. We want to encourage you, love on you, but yeah, challenge, challenge, uh, big love, challenge ATS to agree with you on something, and then we'll watch it manifest, and then we'll go on to the next thing. Hamlet says, "I need this too." So let's just extend this, Chris, out to everybody. Yes, and that's on this call to say, "Hey, pick like this was." I was thinking, pick the one thing that you like. You got the best faith for. It doesn't have to be big or small, whatever size it might be. But you feel like I can believe for this right now. And let's and and just send that our way. Just message us, put it in a put whatever you feel comfortable communicating with. We're gonna take that on board. We're gonna begin to, to synergize with you, QRST with you on this particular thing. And and as we see the manifestation come out, we'll use that. You can use that as a marker or a signpost saying if you did it this with this thing, right, then you can do it every other thing. Because that's his heart. So that's what Chris is saying is test me. Let's take the one thing that you feel like you can be tested on and have the faith to apply to that. Even if it's a mustard seed, doesn't matter. If this is the one thing you say, I think I can believe for this at least. Let's all agree on that and see that as a signpost and a marker when it manifests as saying, now let's go after everything else. Yeah, yeah let me just add, and the reason that um, it helps, for, and I'll just speak for, for myself for Boston C is that um, so my, my daughters, oftentimes when they have friends, my daughters are in their thirties and their friends want to have babies. So if anybody wants to get pregnant, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the guy to come to, you know, but I wonder, well, what do you want to have? I mean, how many do you want to have? What's the name? 
Okay, so when you tell us what that thing is, we're going to take, we take that, we take you and we carry you in our heart. I mean, it's just, it's, it's quantum. It's, it's, it's magical. Because when we just take you on our heart, frequently, infrequently, whatever that looks like, we know that we're doing our deal and we don't have to worry about the outcome. We don't try to make anything happen. It's amazing. The Lord just, so that's the thing is when you just believe, you don't have to think about, well, how's, how's he going to do this? You don't worry about the outcome. You just know that the request that you have and those of us that are agreeing together, that is enough to ignite the spiritual electrons to come together to bring your future to you. And when you see it happen, it's like, um, it's a God incident. How many, okay, some people below this one, they call them coincidences. I like to call them God incidences. How many God winks do you need? I love God winks. Me too. Imagine yeah. that. You right. guys are not going to believe what happened. Here's the story. It's amazing. Ah, uh, yep, 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 yep. Imagine that. Yep. So, man, love you guys. We've had, oh, we're, ooh, we went we're at the top of the hour. We are we go for I, another hour, but I think we're going to. Oh, look at that. That's hour. so good, man. That's like so good. I never get it at the time. You always get it at the top of the hour. <laughs> but you go, we got to finish with, bro, man, Piper, you got to shut us What's down. That? that was just so just, good. You got the final word, bro. Lift us up. I just do this, man. Shalom, <laughs> shalom. Love you guys. We love yeah. you. Bless you guys. Yes. Keep overcoming. Thank you so much. And we will see you soon. Soon. Next love week. you soon. Yep. And Be don't forget to reach complete. out to us. You can get us hold of us through Messenger, through Facebook. We're all over the place. If we're on Twitter too. So if you want to follow Thank Chris, you. he's yeah. been posted on Twitter. We're over there. We're on Telegram. We got videos on YouTube. Uh, just reach out to us. We'll point you in the right direction. And uh, until above the next Thursday. Above the sun. Above the sun. Yep. Love you guys. Bye.